What's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna be doing a Nazo Cafe Racer update and this is going to be more of a review of the parts and tools that came in the mail. So in the last video I think you remember that my bike started for the first time and I was pretty excited that the bike was idling okay but when I gave it gas the bike would kinda die out. So I started looking online why this was happening and how to fix it. Some people said it has to do with the jets but I do remember rejetting my bike to accommodate for the 4 to 1 exhaust and the intake box I removed. So I didn't want to play with the jets just yet. So I kept looking and uh, it turns out that my carburetor may not be synced and this could be causing the bike to die out. So I went online and got this carburetor synchronizer. It's, ju it's just uh, four pressure gauges on the plate and you basically just hook this into your intake to measure the pressure that's built into the system when the bike is running. So what you want to do is plug this in into each intake. I have a CB550, so it's a four piston, four cylinder bike. So I'll just put this in uh, cylinder one, cylinder two, three, four, and then synchronize and make sure that all these gauges are reading similar amount of pressure um, and I'm gonna be adjusting each inlet and uh, by the screw by adjusting screw in and out. I'll show you a video when I uh, synchronize the carburetor. It's kind of hard to explain without showing you the actual bike. So I'm gonna be synchronizing the carburetors, and I also got new spark plugs. These are the uh, NGK 7912s. I got like a whole box of these just because they're probably going to go bad anyways uh, once I start riding it uh, until the tuning is perfect. I also got this fuel valve uh, CB550 that I have for some reason has the fuel out on the bottom and this hits the intake for some reason. So uh, first, first reason why I got this was because I wanted the outlet to be coming out of the side and another reason was that Apparently this gets clogged up over time due to the debris built into the fuel system. So I just figured uh, I'll get a new valve. I got it on eBay for like 10 bucks. So, you know, no big deal. Uh, what else? I have here a cream fuel, tank, cream fuel tank cleaner kit. So this basically is a three stage process. It removes all the rust in your gas tank. Uh, this is a cleaner on the right here, I believe. So this cleans out the gas tank, removes all the rust, and this would basically uh, clean out the first uh, degreaser or uh, rust remover. And then the last stage is a tank sealer. So this would seal up the inside of the, the gas tank nice. So my tank isn't badly rusted, but it, I do see some rust. So I figure why not clean up the gas tank, make sure I get fresh fuel going into the bike when everything is complete. And lastly, I have here the exhaust wrap. Uh, as you can see in my last video, when I started the bike, the high temp spray paint that I painted the exhaust manifold is manifold with is peeling off for some reason and it's smoking up in the video. So what I'm gonna do is just strip, strip that high paint off the exhaust manifold and wrap it up with this titanium exhaust wrap. So that's the look I wanted to go anyways. Uh, I might not get to this until maybe winter time when I stop riding the bike because I really want to get the bike up and going. It's already September and it's starting to cool down. So I just want to get the bike up and running, uh, ride it around this season and uh, make another adjustment in the winter time. So this is going to be my next step. Sinking the carburetors, cleaning the fuel tank, putting the plugs and the fuel valve. So, thanks for watching again. Uh, feel free to post questions if you have any. And thanks again for subscribing and watching my videos as always. And ride safe, guys. Enjoy the please enjoy the rest of the summer.